Hello, Tubies. I hope you can see this. Yeah, you can see this. So I released a video today on, I'm just gonna move this over here for a little bit more light. Make sure, okay, you can, you can sort of see what I'm doing. Um, so you're gonna have to forgive me as I am going to be reading my own writing, and this one comes right out of my book of shadows. Now, a lot of you know that I work with saints and psalms magic, so if that's not your thing, click off now. Um, you don't have to work with saints or psalms magic for this one uh, at all. This one is, so I thought I uploaded the nine, it's basically a nine knot, you know, the love comes spell. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a string of any color, it could be red, it could be black, it could be white, whatever it is. Um, the color doesn't really matter because this is all about your intentions. And you're gonna be tying nine separate knots in here. Now the reason that I'm using um, Psalms Magic is because I can then treat this like a rosary. And what you'll do is you'll go over each knot and you'll say your incantation or your um, Psalm verse or whatever it is for each knot. So the incense video, if I recall correctly, because you know me, I pre-record everything and then never watch my videos and people are like, what did you mean by this? And then I have to re-watch them. But my, my love knot incense is basically an incense you can burn while you do this particular spell. Now, what you'll want to do is you'll want to keep this knot and you'll, or you'll want to keep the string and you'll want to treat it whether it's like a rosary or just a piece of string with knots that you go over each knot. And you're gonna do this um, nine for nine days. And you're gonna say your incantation or your psalm nine times. So the first day, um, you could do it up to 18 times. So what you would do is you would make your knots and for each knot, you'd say your incantation or your psalm and then you could go over it. And as you touch the knot, you'll say your incantation or psalm again. And that's on the first day. On the second day, you would go through and you would just touch the knot like you would on, say, a rosary, like a rosary bead on a rosary. And for each knot, you would say your psalm or incantation again. Now, you don't have to do it 18 times on the first on the first day. You can just create your knots and then on the second day, go through and the third day and the fourth and so on and so forth. You don't have to do it consecutively either, but the more intentions you put into this, the more effort, the more work you put into this, the more the results are going to come through because it's going to show that you're you're serious about it. You're not just, you know, making this knot and throwing it away and, and not caring about it anymore, thinking that, you know, the magic is just going to work because that's that's not how magic works. Um, a lot of you know or, or may not know that the way magic works is very simple. There's the human element of it and then there's the magical element of it. And the human element is, okay, what am I doing on the human side of things to get what I want? And then the magical side of it is, okay, what am I doing on the magical side of things to get what I want? So for me, I'm using, um, now I don't, I didn't write down what Psalm this was, but it's verse 13, eight, and apparently I'm retarded and didn't bother to write down which particular Psalm this is. So you'll have to forgive me on that one. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll take your string and you'll tie your first knot and you'll either say your incantation or you'll say your psalm. So for me, it's the psalm, I can't remember which one, I'll have to look this up, but it's verse 13, uh, or is that Psalm 8? No, that's Psalm 13, verse 8. I'm retarded. Everybody just ignore me. Um, so love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And then you'll go down the string and you'll do another knot. And I'm pretty sure you can see what I'm doing. So we have two knots now. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, where... They will silence where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And then we do it again. 
And never be afraid. The other thing I wanted to mention is that never be afraid of messing up your incantation or your psalm. Just, you know, it's about your intention. So if you stumble, if you miss a line, if you say something wrong, you know, don't freak out. Don't think you have to do it all over again. Just keep going and just, you know, keep in mind it's, it's your intentions. The universe doesn't care that you screw up on saying something. What it cares is about the intentions you're putting out there. Okay, so we're going to do the third knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there, are, where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Fourth knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Fifth knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Sixth knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Seventh knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Eighth knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there is, where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And ninth, ninth knot. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will silence. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Okay, so now we have the nine knots. And you want nine knots. You don't want to do all of the knots on top of each other. And it doesn't matter how far apart they are or how close together they are. Just make sure that they are separate knots. Um, if you have extra string, you can just cut it off. So we'll just burn it off there. Okay, so I have nine knots on here. Now, the purpose of the incense video that you guys have seen is that you want the incense burning while you do this. And then on the, on the second day, you'll want the incense burning while you go over each knot, starting from your top and feeling down and saying your psalm or incantation for each and every knot. And you do that on the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day, and the sixth day, and the seventh day, and the eighth day, and the ninth day. Now keep in mind that you can't just do this nine days and expect Prince Charming to just fall into your lap. It doesn't work that way. Again, magic requires work. So you have to ask yourself, what am I doing in the human side? Am I going to speed dating? Am I using dating apps? Am I getting out there? Am I putting myself out there? Because if you're a recluse or somebody who never leaves the house, or you don't like to talk to other people, or you're afraid that the guy in your English class isn't gonna talk to you, doing the spell isn't gonna help. Now, doing the spell and approaching the guy or putting yourself out there, maybe you're going to a knitting club, maybe you're going gardening, maybe you're meeting new people and hanging out with them, you know, that would definitely help. Okay, so I hope that this video has helped you understand what the nine knot spell is. And again, you can use it with any color of string. You can, uh, you can use it with, it doesn't have to be yarn. It could be twine. It could be thread. It could be whatever it is. But keep in mind that you will want to keep this up for at least the nine days. And then after the nine days, what I would do is I would either place this I'd wrap it up and place it in a honey jar spell. So you place this into a honey jar and then you would do, you're, you're working around that. Or you could bury it. Um, you could also put it into a jar and throw it into the river and that will carry it on and let the universe bring love to you. Um, you could just, you could burn it in a cauldron. Um, there's many ways that you could dispose of this or you could keep it. You could keep it and treat it like a rosary and, you know, do do it for nine days and then, you know, maybe go nine days without doing it and then do it another nine days and keep doing it until you find the person that you want to go out with or date or marry or whatever the case may be. Okay, so I hope that little video has helped you understand more about this particular 
working, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, please leave them in the appropriate section below. Until next time, Tubians.